Let's go. Hey, mine's going really Quick, fast. Me. Look at that. I'm in Woo. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to beat you. Come on, <laughs> hey, look how fast mine's going. Wait for me. <laughs> I'm running. Oh, I'm catching you. I'm catching you. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard runs crooked because he's crooked himself. What do you think, Bernard? It's not me! It's not me! It's not me! <laughs> the cast is crooked! It's got nothing to do with me! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry I booted you just then. Huh? my pocket somewhere you might like. Here, see if you like the taste of that. The poor thing's half starving. He probably hasn't got a home. No home? Huh? Oh, I tell you what, this dog needs to be looked after. So why don't you take him with you? You found him. Yeah, you'd better look after him because no one else is going to want such an ugly old dog. <laughs> oh, oh, quick, <laughs> run! run! There's no point you coming home with me. We've already got a dog at home called Tackle, and I know exactly what Maria would have to say about it. A cow or some sheep would be useful, but not a mangy old hound. We just don't have enough food at home to feed a stray. That's what she'd say. So how can I take you home with me? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Oh. Take care. Oh. 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 I said no, okay? Go on, scram! up to over there what I'm not doing anything what's up tackle <laughs> well he's a pretty brave animal where did you find him He's a stray dog with no home to go to, just like I was once. I see. Well, we'll try to find a way to persuade Maria to let him stay, shall we? Diego! So we'd better think of a name for him, huh? Well, how about... Do you like the name Figaro? <coughs> oh, okay, he seems happy with that. Well, I'm Diego. Hi, Figaro. Diego, Bernard, dinner's ready. Let's go and grab some food. Before we eat, I want to let you know that Commander Raymond has asked me if I'd be kind enough to let some important people from Spain stay in our house the day after tomorrow. That I've agreed. Oh, important people? The Countess Meldoza, a senior official's wife. Why does she want to stay at our place? Well, in this town, there's no top-class hotel for such a distinguished guest, and <laughs> the barracks is no place for her to stay. No, certainly not. Well, I'll have to get on started cleaning the house tomorrow. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Well, we can't leave the poor dog locked up in here forever. Let's teach him a special trick that's bound to impress Maria. Brilliant! Yeah! I'm going to start training you straight away, Figaro. <laughs> Is 
Isn't he clever? Well done, Figaro! <laughs> Maria's bound to want to keep Figaro now. Absolutely no way! I will not have another dog in my house! Any cow or sheep is welcome to stay, but you know very well we've got no food for a useless old mutt! Just let him stay a few days. I said no! Now please stop bothering me! I've got to get everything ready for the Countess! I'll give you a hand with the cleaning, Maria. But please just stop to watch Figaro's trick. He's such a clever little dog. Ah, he doesn't look very clever to me! Ah, he's just as bad as his ugly face! No, no, no! Wait, watch this! Paw, please! <laughs> What's he doing? Figaro's sometimes a bit of a joker, but wait a second! Sit down! <laughs> Figaro, your whole future depends on this. Don't let us all down! Bernard, why don't you show what he does with the sheep? Good idea! Okay, Figaro, I want you to round them up into the stable. That's the way. Go on, boy. Figaro, not towards us. Over there. <laughs> Say sorry now, Figaro. I hate to throw you out, but there's nothing more I can do for you. <laughs> Go on, fetch this bone. Bye bye, Figaro. <laughs> What on earth's going on? Are you aware you've just ambushed the coach of Countess Mildoza? Oh, yeah, well aware. In fact, we've had our eye on the Countess's splendid carriage ever since it left from the port this morning. No! Get away from me! Ugh. Take her to that hut over there and we'll grab her fancy clothes. Right! What are you doing? Oh, it's you, boss. The dress fits, but I can't find the other earring. Ugh. Hey, boss, I think there's someone coming. Excuse me, is this the carriage of Countess Mendoza? Well, yes, sort of. Huh? I'm the Countess. What do you want? Huh? Oh, well, Sergeant, can we help you? <laughs> I'm your guard. Commander Raymond has asked me to escort you to the house where you'll be staying for tonight. So kind. Thank you for your trouble. Dear, you know, it's quite exhausting being a countess. Oh, look at him. How are we going to get past those guards? 
They're armed to the very teeth. You're underestimating me just a little bit. I happen to be the most famous female burglar operating in the whole of California, and I'll get out of here no problem. Hey, get the valuables from the bags and quickly! Okay, boss. What? You are planning to steal the Countess's necklace and plant it in Vega's room? Why would you want to do that? You really are slow, aren't you? We're going to get Vega thrown into prison, setting him up as a robber. It'll get him out of our way because he opposes us too much. What? That's why we've deliberately arranged for the Countess to be a guest in his house on her return journey from traveling in South America. But that's just not fair. Are you saying you won't do it? Uh, no, no, Commander. Uh, boss, what exactly do you want to do with those pieces of crystal from the chandelier? <laughs> you just wait and see. We're gonna leave in style through the front entrance. <laughs> what is it? Is there a dog in my room? Gonzalez. <clears throat> Try and cheer up. I'll find Figaro for you, and when the Countess is gone, I'll persuade Maria to let him stay. Don't worry, I'm fine. Poor little Bernard. Oh my goodness! It's incredible! The Countess's necklace has been stolen! Been stolen? I have to search you. This won't take long. Why are we under suspicion like this? We haven't done anything wrong. Lolita, that's quite enough from you. Since the Countess arrived, no one I can see in this room has been away from the house. Therefore, I can assume the robber must be one of you. It could have been a soldier, not necessarily one of us. Ah, brat! I found the necklace! Huh? Where did you find this? Under the pillow in Mr. Vega's room. <gasps> what a very stupid thing for Vega to do. Look, I've never seen it in my life before. God sees this villainous man. No, yeah, no, come no, here. No. I, I'm innocent. I know nothing about it. Let him go. Mr. Vega would never steal anything. I just know it. He's, He's an, an honest, honest man. man. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Look, we found the Countess's necklace in his bedroom. This is the evidence. If there's any more protest, then the whole lot of you will go to prison. No. Guards, take the villain away. Father! Take it easy, Diego. I know I'm innocent. It'll work out all right. Gonzalez, you must help Mr. Vega. Mm. Oh, please. I'm sorry for this trouble. We found your stolen necklace. Please accept our apologies for any distress that's been caused to you. Well, I'm very glad to see it safely back again. Oh, but this isn't the real one. It's not the real one? Oh! But what on earth's going on here? Uh, uh, well, I, I, well, and how do you propose to sort this little problem out? <gasps> I'm so sorry. I got a tiny bit over-emotional. But, Commander, what do we do now? Well, we'll have to look again. And I promise I'll find the real necklace for you. Just give me some time. Gonzalez, look again. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, they're gonna search every room in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, the sergeant's just gone into your bedroom. If he finds the secret door, he'll find out all about you. Don't move, sergeant. Zed! Zoro! I've got a question for you. 
You seem to be very surprised when we discovered that the necklace was in fact a fake. Uh, well, you see... Think very carefully. I need to hear the truth, or there'll be a hole right here. Okay, I tell you. <gasps> what a dirty trick. But what I still can't figure out is why the commander was so upset. Maybe someone else put the fake necklace in place of the real one. But who'd want to do that? Look at this earring. It's the other one. Figaro must have found it. I thought it was strange. The Countess was only wearing one single earring when she got out of her carriage. That is strange, to wear just one earring. You'd expect a Countess to take great care of her appearance. Follow Figaro, Bernard. And make quite sure you're not seen by the soldiers. Huh? I'll run down and follow another sign. Okay! Diego, what are you planning? Zaro's here. Yes, he threatened me with his sword held at my back. Uh. It must be Zoro who stole the real necklace, Commander. Vigor's the only one who's left the house. That means Zaro must still be here. He must be hiding somewhere. Search every square inch of the place. So he's putting the blame on Zaro. That really is nasty. Hmm? Diego, where are you going? To... to the bathroom. <sighs> How typical of him. He always acts like this in a crisis. So, now even Zaro's shown up. Tell me, what on earth is going on here? From what I can see going on here, our escape is not far away now. You just wait and see. If we don't find it fast, there'll be trouble. Commander Raymond, I really can't wait here anymore. I'm gonna have to leave now. Please wait. Before tomorrow, no, before night falls, we'll find your necklace for you, I promise you. All right, but just remember that I'm going to tell my husband all about this business if you fail to find it. But, of course. Diego was right! <coughs> Madam, are you the Countess? Yes. Haven't you managed to find it yet? We've looked everywhere, sir. Even in the attic, but nothing. Looks like your time is up. Please, wait a little longer. It's pointless arguing. Get the carriage ready. Wait! Don't leave! Now what, boss? Just take it easy. That woman is an imposter! Look, the real Countess is sitting right here! Uh. Don't be crazy. What evidence have you got that I'm an imposter? I'm the Countess! I'm the Countess, and I was kidnapped. <laughs> oh, you're the Countess, are you? Commander, seize this woman unless you want to answer to my husband. You evil woman. I'll fix you. And now, I think it's time we were on our way from this town. My husband must be wondering what's been holding up my journey. Yes, okay. Thanks for your hospitality. <laughs> It's sorrow! I'm not here to pick a fight with you today, but I am here to prove that that woman is an imposter. Oh, don't just stand there. Grab your swords and kill him! <laughs> oh, oh, let me at him. What's that? That's the real necklace. It's the one she substituted with the fake. Do you think a genuine Countess would try to deceive us in this way? So what does this mean? It means that you all know the truth of the matter now and that I give up. Do what you want with me. What a devious villain. Oh, shut up. You know you're much worse than I am. You try to get Vega locked away in prison by suggesting that he'd stolen the Countess's necklace. That was a rotten trick. <sighs> If this story is true, Commander, I'm afraid I'll have to tell my husband about it. 
Oh, please, Countess, don't do that. Well, then, release Mr. Vega from prison, and then promise me that you'll never try again to wrong the Vega family. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Zorro! Before I go, I want to thank the dog. He provided the evidence that we needed. It's true. We'd never have solved it without Figaro. He found the missing earring. Dear Maria, Figaro is a clever animal. Please ask Mr. Vega to look after him and give him a home. But of course I will. We did it! I will return. What are you doing? Go on, get after him. Get after him, man. Don't just stand there. 